As you have asked, we have the jump session, which runs every Monday evening. And we did, two weeks ago, we did what we call the reloading of the jump session. Jump session is an, an activity which we have for artists. Every Monday, we call upon every artist and every art lover and everybody who, is, who wants to be involved in art. We provide for you the framework for you to be able to perform. And it is free of charge. And everybody's in, invited to be able to par participate in it. Almost all these big artists that you hear about in this country, the Chameleon, the Baby Cool, and all those, they have gone through this jam session. And therefore, we are calling upon everybody to be involved. When we open regional centers, we shall be decentralizing some of these jam sessions so that everybody will benefit from it. So that is what our plans are. And now, as we talk, the jam sessions that we have so far, we have them at... Uh, at, at the National Theatre, and we call upon you to be able to join us every evening on Monday. Thank you very much.
The jam session started uh, way back, I think, in the in the in the late 70s, and and this came about because there were some artists who never had equipment, but the Eddie Wamalas had equipment. So for him, he decided he would bring all his equipment every you know every Monday evening and allowed people to use it, and you'd use it freely so that you're able to learn. He was trying to attract people so that they're able to learn. So people started learning how to use instrument using his equipment. But as it went on, it became so, so popular that everyone wanted to come to the National Theatre. So he opened it and said, every Monday it will be there. And then they also got people who knew how to play drums. So they'll put somebody to play the drum and ask other people to see how it is done. They will also be trying and trying and trying until when this jam session kept growing. It became a big, uh, you know, event, and, 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 and now, up to now, it is an event that people keep learning, keep doing, and it is now a very big thing. So that's how it started in the 70s. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Francis Peter Ojede, the Executive Director of the Uganda National Cultural Center. Uh, recently in March and uh, of course uh, beginning of uh, April we had a new board and uh, there are 18 numbers and uh, they were appointed to, uh, with a clear mandate to come and support uh, in terms of uh, policy formulation and support to the management. They have come in and one of the key things that they have already started with is to put in place order. They have uh, actually ordered us to do uh, a restructure so that we are able to support the institution and be able to move the institution forward to capture in the aspect of regions. They have also come up with proposals to open up regional centers so that we do not only operate in Kampala, we also operate up country. Among the many other things they have done is to make sure that uh, we have stakeholder engagements which we have held and we have had a lot of uh, stakeholders who, enjoy, who joined us to give us our views on how to improve and how to do our business. Apart from the stakeholders that we have engaged, we have also been able to engage in terms of partnerships. We now have partnership with uh, several media houses. We have partnership with the Uganda Development Bank. We have partnership with the Uganda Communications Commission. And then we also have partnership with other institutions like the French Embassy. All this is to help to preserve, promote and popularize art and culture in this country. These are things that they have so far done and we have in plan many others that they think we should be able to do. The one other thing that we have already done, we have been working together with a new project of government called GROW. And GROW is going to establish what we call uh, the Women's Center at the National Theatre. So in our parking lot, we're going to put up a magnificent building which is going to be best called Women Centre. But in the Women Centre, we're going to have new auditoriums, we're going to have uh, a new, um, you know, uh, facilities in terms of offices, in terms of uh, many other art spaces, and that is what we're going to do and we've already started that process. So that's what the new board has so far done. Now, UNCC, as I said, the biggest plan that we have is to try and make sure that uh, we, we sensitize the public so that we have the public to support activities that uh, 
UNCC is doing. One of the other things is that our law is old. The UNCC Act has become old, so there is already a plan for us to be able to uh, review it so that it takes care of all the activities that we have in the art and culture. Apart from that, we have already embarked on the regional uh, development concept, and of course uh, the ministry has already accepted. We have already actually put it to Minister of Finance, and soon we are going to be able to start that project. So we will be having uh, activities that are outside and inside. We also have festivals. We have the UNCC Annual Art and Culture Festival, which we continue to do. We did one in November, just this early November, the first week. But in our next editions, we want to do it up country, we want to do it in the region, and also then the climax will be done at the center here. Those are the things that we want to do. Def definitely, as we work, there are so many challenges that, uh, but as an institution, we try to deal with them. The biggest challenge that we have had over time is the issue of resources. We don't have adequate resources to do everything that we want. So we have embarked on doing partnerships to try and deal with the issue of our resources. But I think government has already clearly understood us uh, because now we have been put as almost number three or four in government planning. So the resources we hope that because we are now being recognized, we hope that government will be able to provide us resources. The second challenge that we have is that uh, now that we are going to be opening ourselves to the regions, we still have an issue of capacity. Not everyone understands art and culture. So we need to do a lot of work to be able to bring everybody to be able to understand art and culture from the management perspective and also from the performance perspective. There is also still negative uh, attitude towards art and culture where people think that when you are a, a, an artist, you are really rated as a lower level. But we are saying no, these people are definitely not in that level. So we, are, we, are, we, are, we have those and therefore sensitization, workshops and all that will be able to help us. So those are challenges, but we think they are easy challenges to be dealt with. Thank you.